Now you might be wondering, what do you do if you can't find this frosted glass or the sea glass spray paint to create a sea glass look? So what I've done is I've actually found a couple of products at Hobby Lobby. One is called Glass Paint and it's by Deco Art. And then I also found this watercolor gels by Folk Art. And they're really pretty colors that I think will look really nice like sea glass. So without any practice, I'm going to try using these paints to see if we can make some glass items look like they are sea glass. All right, so I'm going to start with these two lovely examples or pieces for our project. And I think let's start with the glass paint because this is made for glass. So we're gonna go ahead and use some of this. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna take multiple coats of the paint to cover the glass or plastic. In this case, this is plastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this on. That is the plastic piece and now I'm gonna paint this glass jar, I guess you would call it, vessel, I don't know. All right, while the glass paint is drying, I think I'm gonna try the watercolor gels on this vase or bottle, which might be a little challenging because that is a bigger piece. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens with the watercolor, what this does. And it says it's semi-transparent. So that paint actually goes a long way too. that one dry too and let's do this one would be kind of neat it definitely goes on really smooth when you do it like that But I'm curious if I use the glass paint and water it down a bit, if I can get that same appearance on the glassware with the aqua color paint. So I'm gonna add some water, see what happens when I thin it out a bit. Is it gonna work? I have no idea, but we're gonna find out. is the look I was going for. It looks aged, it definitely has some texture to it. And I was able to achieve this look just with the paint and a little bit of this, believe it or not. I don't know if you've ever heard of powdered salt before, but this stuff is pretty cool for working with crafts. And it's literally salt that is powdered. So it still has a little bit of grit to it, but not like regular salt. And I think you could probably use Epsom salt for this too, but I am gonna show you how I did this with this powdered salt. So I'm gonna start with this vase. Again, it has a couple of coats of this watercolor gels paint, but it's still kind of translucent and that is what this is supposed to be like. So what I'm gonna do is take some of this paint 
and some of this powdered salt and mix it into a cup. And then I'm going to apply that onto here. So I want this paint to be pretty thin. So I'm gonna, just gonna add some salt and a little bit of this paint. And I'm thinking you could probably do this with like regular acrylic paint too, but this was the color that I chose, so I'm gonna use it. So once I have the salt and the paint in just an old cup that I use for crafts, I'm gonna blend that together. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. And I don't know if you can see the consistency. Let's lift my camera up a little bit so you can see, because I really don't want to dump it out. But that is the consistency of the paint, the water, and the salt. So you can actually see the texture of the salt in this while I'm mixing it. All right, so let's see how this is going to work. of that. Yeah, you can see that texture. And that is from that powdered salt, which is pretty cool. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish the rest of the vases that I did with this paint, salt, and water concoction. So all of my pieces are dry. I don't know if you can see the texture or not, but there is a lot of texture on these vases from the powdered salt. So now what I'm gonna do is use a little bit of chalk paint, actually more chalk paint than the other color. And for the darker colored ones, I'm actually going to use the watercolor gels. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. And now I'm actually gonna use a chip brush and just take a little bit of the paint, so some of the white, and some of that aqua color. But I want more of the white than the aqua. And now I'm just gonna dry brush this onto my vase. And this will just add a little bit of lighter coloring to my vase and give it more of an aged and distressed look. And I think that's really what I'm going for when I'm trying to create a kind of a sea glass appearance. I really, I guess I mean I want a distressed look because I want it to look old and I want it to look weathered and worn. And by doing a dry brush technique, that really helps to make it look weathered and worn for sure. You can add a little bit more paint if you want. You can add less. Completely up to you. It's your project. So it definitely looks aged now, doesn't it? So I'm just going to repeat that process on my other vases.
And I think this one I'm going to call the bottom of the sea glass because he looks like he's got barnacles and stuff all over him. I kind of like that. All right, so here is my sea glass or faux sea glass. All of my vases are all painted. So all that's left to do is wrap a little bit of jute twine and raffia around like the necks of the bottles, just to give them something a little bit extra. And then these will be done. Okay, so those are my adorable little farmhouse style sea glass vases that I made using Dollar Tree glass and a little bit of paint. I think they turned out really great. And what do you think of my wooden tray that I made? That is coming up in a future craft during the 30 day crafting challenge. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that notification button so you will be alerted every time I have a new video coming out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.